What's going on, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen? The ACMJS Gamer here. Uh, today we're here to take a little bit of a look at Ghost of Tsushima. Um, I know I already have the official video on my channel, but I kind of wanted to do my own um, thoughts and or, I guess, breakdown. Um, and this isn't like a structured video in any way because I, did, I just don't know how to edit or do any of that. So basically, I'm going to play the video, I'll pause it, and I'll give my thoughts on what's going on, or thoughts on, like, uh, like game mechanics, or what they're doing, or what you could possibly do, stuff like that. <clears throat> so, of course, you know, PlayStation logo. It's a PlayStation exclusive, I do believe. I do love the shot right here, the beautiful shot of um, all these trees in the forest, and we see something is burning you can only assume that it's a village or a home of some sort but i do love that they show off the beauty of the game right here and also uh cinematic footage captured in engine from the ps4 pro um so this is what it should in theory look like on the ps4 pro of course again you see the something is burning tsushima japan Okay, so this is what they, uh, this is what they were burning, um, just looking at the different art styles, I love the armor on this guy, um, very samurai-esque, this one I'm not so sure about, this one looks a little bit more medieval than it does the samurai, but keep going. I love the plume on his helmet there. You can see the immersiveness that they were just showing off there with all the mud on the ground that where you step, you know, the beautiful leaves. And we can see that they're transporting something, and it looks like the ill-gotten goods they got from the burning village. That they're taking them back to their boss or their master, perhaps. And then just the leaves. Oh, it's so beautiful. Ah, something in the distance. <laughs> I love the look of him, by the way. Samurai! See, Urudor's run! We don't know exactly what they're saying, but... I love the calmness, the peacefulness of, of Jin. Um, so right now we can tell, we don't know when this is in the story, because in the promotional trailers before this, uh, he didn't have the mask, I don't think. Um, and we can tell from here, he just pulled out a sword from this sheath. He has one knife here, and then it looks like he has another sword on his back. We don't know what this, this looks like the climbing rope we saw in the other demo. This looks like something else, but... We'll see. Oh, fight me. I love that you can use it as, I'm assuming, like a distraction or as a bomb. And obviously some sort of battlefield and we kind of get Jin's the origin ghost. here. Some say Ooh. he died on the beach. Others say he is a storm made to flesh. Once again, the beautiful scenery going on in the background. We get a horse of some sort. I don't, I think we know the name, but I don't know the name off the top of my head. It's called Roach. When the wind. And of course, we have this camp here, which I thought was very interesting that it's also along the beach, I assume. If this is all water, it's the moonlight reflecting off of it. Soldiers, you know, doing their thing. Flashes their tents and boats. They know. And then here, I think, is where we get introduced to a little bit, some new gameplay. We can see Jin now has a cape. Um, I'm gonna let this play if it's what He is coming. Yeah. So apparently we can assassinate people, I guess, or stealth attack, which is jumping off of a roof and onto, um, onto a person. Yaw. Ooh, hostage. So we have multiple different attacks. Do. Love that. Throw bombs, yeah, fireworks. Kill that man. We get the, the, 
active bow and arrow, which is the first time that we, we were uh, seeing this. Um, these look like shurikens or knives. I have no idea if I spelled that right. Um, but maybe you can throw knives as a distraction. So this game is looking a lot more, you know, Assassin's Creed type style where you have different ways you can kill your enemies. Um, we have the fire bow going on here. Yeah. Jump off. And he just killed that group of people. Now it's for the leader. Okay. Good battle. Chill. Tell him I'm coming. That's like the most. He probably peed his pants there. And he looks at the mask. I wonder what significance this mask has. No idea. I would have loved for them to transition into gameplay here, but they didn't. I mean, they kind of did. They're like, here's the exploration, so here's like the wetlands, I guess you could say. It looks like he's headed towards a tower. They're just featuring the exploration, beautiful fields headed towards the mountains, whatever we see. Or, we didn't see, but here's a snow, snow environment. So there's multiple environments. I don't know who this boy is, but he looks like a beefy boss, and I'm not looking forward to fighting him in this giant field of roses. Some climbing exploration, some parkour. Love the look of this. Looks like this boy is a field, maybe. And some sort of fort, maybe, that we get to take down. to let the army out he's like i'm ready love this so that was kind of my i guess breakdown slash analysis um if you didn't see the sony state of play they did a teaser for the game awards and this is the video from the game awards and this is all that we got was summer 2020 um and then this was revealed to be the box art and i absolutely love it i really do and as you can see in development for PS4, um, so it is confirmed it will be on the PS4. Uh, it wouldn't surprise me because next year we have so many good games. Well, Sony-wise, we have Ghost of Tsushima and Last of Us 2. It wouldn't surprise me if they ended up porting like Last of Us 2 and Ghost of Tsushima, a God of War, Spider-Man. It wouldn't surprise me if they ported over those games to the PS5. Um kind of like if you didn't play them on the PS4 and use them as launch I think they're going to use them as launch titles kind of like if you didn't play them on the PS4 you can play them on the PS5 um, so we'll see um, thank you guys for watching it was a little bit of a breakdown um, I'll see you guys in the next episode